Hey everybody, I'm Kasha, and welcome back to the House of Caravan. Now, in the last episode, we explored a little bit. We went into the library in Madeline's room, as well as this bathroom, and we broke everything. Of course we broke everything. Why wouldn't we break everything? And we really didn't learn a whole lot. We learned a few things. You'll have to go back into the last episode. I'm not going to summarize it all. But there is only one place that we have not been. And that is behind this door. Well, there's been, there's other doors that we have not been behind yet. But we are unable to get into them because they are locked. And this room also appears to be locked. So perhaps it is... I need something. I need, I need something. I need something. I need something. Well, what the hell? So... What is the point of this knife if there is absolutely nothing that we can use it for? The only thing that I could think of is that there is a door somewhere that we can open. It's the only logical thing. Perhaps this kitchen door, since we did find the knife in here anyway. No, again, no dice, no cigar. Oh man, there's quite a few things that we seem to have missed. Absolutely unacceptable. I, th I thought, you know what, I hold myself to a higher degree than that. How many matches do we have? Eight. Why are matches so expensive? Either way, we have to find something. There has to be something for us to use. Somewhere for us to go. I... Key holder combination. The only thing that I can think of is if we use these paper pieces. And then we could perhaps find a new letter, or we could perhaps find a combination of sorts. I have not seen anything that resembles a combination yet. But the only thing that I can think of would be if it was in one of the rooms. And Madeline's room is the only one that we have so far. The library gave us a bit of information, but nothing that we really could learn can take another glance around. Mast. Still locked, of course. Oh, we still have drawers. Of course. Nothing. Why would there be anything? Why would there be anything anywhere? No useful hints. Was there anything in Arthur Jr.'s room that we could use the knife on? I don't believe so. Pretty sure we already cleared this room out quite nicely. Didn't break that, though. Another earthquake. Still no clues on the earthquakes. Hmm. Empty. There's just nothing here. The only thing that I could think of I need I need something. I need, I, I need something. I need I need something. Then give me the thing that I need. Is that so difficult?
This is the only thing. This is the only option. There, there just can't be anything else. Ha ha! Well, let's get these on here. Seems we have a puzzle. Okay. Let's get them all facing the right way. Reginald. This seems to be towards the top, I guess. I, I don't even know. Hmm. Hey, it's a perfect fit! This is easier than I thought. That is not a perfect fit. Please. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Don't mind if I do. Easiest way to solve a puzzle. Get the corners. This definitely looks like a middle piece. Another center piece. Edge piece. This is probably like just one of the most boring things ever. <laughs> Watching me put pieces. of a puzzle together. Dear Madeline, as our butler, We can do this. Just got to get them facing the right way. We need that other edge bit. Right there. And bear. Bam! And now these are just incorrect. Bam! Did that one on accident. Good job, me. So that one goes there for sure. We need... Bam! There we go! Please destroy... Bam! Great! Dear Madeline, as our butler Reginald left us recently after 20 years of service, I have changed the codes for your safety deposit box. If you forget the new codes, you can find them inside the sailboats in the library. Just rotate the mast to reveal a secret compartment. Please destroy this note after reading. So the masts do serve a purpose, and that will give us the code to the key safe. Getting those keys inside the puzzle box was useful after all. Paper. It says three four. A paper. Four two three four. And that will nab us a set of keys, possibly more. I wonder what room awaits us next. Only way to find out is to get down there if I can get past this goddamn chair. I think we're done in here anyway. That's pretty much all the rooms. The only other things that we have are the kitchen, prayer room, and then the other rooms on the other side. Which should be relatively easy to get, depending on what keys we get from this safe. Four, two, three, four. No? Well, 
what exactly am I doing wrong? Well, all right, guys, I uh, did a bit of research. And honestly, I feel like the bit of the fool for not investigating this game enough. It seems that I uh, wasn't quite on top of my investigation of Madeline's room. And once we get there, I think you'll see what I mean. Although I can't really blame myself, because I didn't really bother looking at this tapestry. And how the hell was I supposed to know that there was a second safe? I guess it only makes sense. It's my fault for assuming. A hairpin. But I already have a knife for this exact purpose. I need something. Oh. Now Jeez. you want to open. I can't use a knife. I need a hairpin. All right. Well, I hope that knife comes in handy later. Either way, I think I've run around and made a fool of myself enough for this video, so that is going to have to be it for this one. So if you liked, feel free to like, favorite, share, subscribe, and so on and so forth. And if you want to see some more of the House of Caravan, I've got it on my channel. This video, <laughs> I don't even know, but it, it is what it is. It happened. It's a thing. I had to look up a solution. I fucking hate doing that so bad I really just need to be more thorough but I'm trying to play the game I'm trying to make it entertaining for you guys and I know I know it's really it's really not at least not this episode I didn't find it entertaining I found it a little frustrating either way with all that being said I'm Kasha and so we go <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah